Let's get it. And we're back with GameCube plays Yakuza 3. I'm Mike. I'm another person of AP, and what's happened, Mikey? What, what have you done between uh, recording sessions? I Tell went, me. and I won three games of pool. Okay, okay. Which, okay, we, look, we, we get did pool last time. Did you do them hammered? That's the way you do pool. No, because I, because I needed to win three games so that I could unlock a uh, side quest. That we're going to go okay. do now. And then we'll do some story. This guy's got a full full reasoning for why he wants to be cool. Oh, I'm low on health for some reason. Oh, yeah, you are. Also, wow, you have a lot of health. Full whole box. Yeah, we, I think we upgraded the health before we left last time. I didn't do... All I did last time was fight a couple guys and play pool. I didn't level up or anything on my stream. So. Oh, that was one health wind up on that kick. Yep. But uh, yeah, I feel like we have more health in this game than we did at the end of the episode. Two. It's very possible. So, where is the pool hall? The pool hall's down here. Let's do that real quick. Because we don't have. Oh yeah, if anyone's wondering. Come on. We don't have to win the the game pool. Also, there is this guy dancing that oh, I didn't okay. want to talk to, to without you. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, we've got to talk to him. Let's find out what he's up to. Look at him. He's an, he is upbeat. Okay. I'll play a drinking game with you. Yeah, let's get fucking smashed, man. Wait, has this guy got a reputation? I guess for, for drinking games. I guess so. Like Kazuma spoke to him now, as though he he knows his legacy. I mean that that is that is fun. Just look at his face. He. The most ecstatic man and the most drunk man at the same time. Look at it. Look at it. He's so rosy in the cheeks. He's, he's been raised on hitting a drink, man. Okay. Do you reckon when he's uh, sober, he's a downbeat man? Maybe. Alright. Okay, so we have to look the way he's not going to point. Which this way, left or right? Terrible drinking game. Uh, we're gonna walk to the left. Always start with the left, in my opinion. You're right. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's fine with losing. He's a good loser. Looks like. Yeah, he's. He's, he's also a good drinker. He's an upbeat His man. His mouth is always open, though. Mm. Look at his mouth, man. It's just gaping open. He needs he needs a bigger mouth so he can get all that alcohol in. I'm sorry, this guy's character model is weirding me out so much. Left or right? Hmm. Well, I don't think we should employ the hot hand fallacy. I don't think left is going to win again, so let's go with right. The what fallacy? It's, so it's the hot hand fallacy. You think something something succeeded once before, um, so you think it's going to succeed again. I think it's a basketball thing. Hmm. I'll find out for you. The hot hand fallacy, also known as a hot hand phenomenon, is the allegedly fallacious belief that persons who experienced success with a seemingly random event has a greater chance of further success in additional attempts. This concept has been applied primarily to sports, such as basketball. I don't know where I heard it from. I, this is something I have in my head. His 
glasses just tipped over. Hmm. It's getting fucking wrecked, man. We've been, we've been kicking his ass. We haven't even had a drink. Round three. All right, now's, now's when we employ the hot hand policy. We're right. right. Right yeah. again. Yeah, he's going to try and trick us. Jeez, three for three. I wonder if you win yeah. automatically in this, no matter what you pick. Maybe. Maybe. This seems like too good of luck. Oh, I'm just really good at guessing. Once I got the first one right, I was just good at guessing how the game would try and trick us. Only three, huh? Can only take three? Yeah, he's... He's a bit of a lightweight. He talks big that's game. Put him away. Mm. He talks big game, but I'm not sure he can even walk. Never mind walk the walk. Just look at him. He's already taking a nap. Oh hell yeah! They just gave me five hundred yeah, bucks. Yeah, making money, man. We should probably slam that drink right now. Salivate, you know? Oh, uh, no, the thing, he, the thing we just got is a hangover medicine. Oh, okay. So you can, so is you that can an use... actual thing, then? I've seen it in other Yakuza's. Hangover... The hangover... Uh... Concoction... Market... Is a big industry in Japan. Do they actually work, though? I've, I've never heard of them working. <laughs> I've never, exist. I've never heard of them not working, but I've also never heard of them working. Hmm. It sounds like a snake oil business. It I does? I probably get in on it. Wait, what did he even... Let's find out what they contain. Let's let's have a look. Okay, this, this is the, the guy. First, let's see if Legendary Drinker is one. Oh, he's got... No, he's actually got an apron on. I thought he was wearing some really, really high-waisted pants. So. Okay, so this guy is who we met when we won the third game of pool. And he thinks that we can be a pool mm -hmm. shark. By the way, did you notice the key behind these guys? I did. In the background? Yeah, I was about to say. I think, no so way I think, your eyes didn't, I think somebody didn't in that. the thread pointed out a key too, but I don't remember who it is. If you could check that. That would be great. Okay. Uh, Kibayasu pointed out on March the 14th uh, that next to the bridge that a guy was going to jump off, um, there is a key. Okay, that's close to the bridge itself. That is close to us, so we'll get that on the way out. Yeah, we should go get that. Uh. That is pretty shitty. What these legendary drinkers are. It. Mm. It might be like a turmeric drink. Looks like sachets of something or other. You might pour them into water. Maybe. I think a bunch of them, I think, like, help to settle your stomach, like ginger will do. But at the very least, mm. it makes you not feel sick. I think it does contain turmeric walking guy. Yeah. Because oh. turmeric's pretty I'm similar sure to ginger, I think. I found an article on uh, the hangover drink industry in Japan that I can link in the thread later or something. Oh yeah, please do. And if anyone in the thread has any information on exactly when and why Japan got so deep into hangover remedies, let me know. I'd be interested in reading it. 
And there's some that you're supposed to take before you drink, some you're supposed to take after you drink. This sounds like a weird, weird thing to prepare for. Yeah, I know. This doesn't sound like it'll work. Says lactose, bin turmeric, Okinawa Imperial Gold. That sounds like a tobacco right there. Guava. Yeah, but most of these don't sound like you'll have any actual effect. Okay, well, we'll play pool. I'll try and win. Mm, this is a really long conversation with these it's pool guys. It's very long. Nine ball. Okay, and that's what I've been playing. Mm -hmm. This guy has a good eye if he sees a little legendary warrior just by walking at us. <laughs> is this Kazuma related to the Kazuma and Yakuza Kenza? No. Ah, oh, they, they walk the same, don't they? They do. Because the Kazuma in Kenzan is just a, uh, a pseudonym. Oh, okay. For Miyamoto Musashi. Come on, touch it, touch it. I'm very good at banking now. Yeah, you are. You really took that guy. He did not... He really wasn't good at banking, actually. I only had to play four games when I streamed. So. I only lost one. Hey, you. You learn fast. It helps that pool... On the other hand, you... I did not break well. Mm -hmm. It helps that pool is mostly skill. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you didn't... If not, took forever. When, when we played it when I was here, um, you didn't exactly lose that either. You weren't doing awfully. Great. That's... I'm sure. I did, however, only play the easy, the beginner difficulty opponent, so he's probably going to wreck me. Mm. Is he... Yeah, is this him taking the zones right now? Yes, it is. This is not me. Okay. Kind of hope he does wreck you. Ah. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Not enough. Not enough. Okay. What do I need? I need the three way over there. I, I really need to turn my other monitor off because I'm looking at that one. Let's see if I can make this work. Damn it. There are kind of people shouting in the background right now if you want your mind being quiet. Okay. <sighs> Luckily, we're far enough. Oh, wait, what? Did I just go over? Oh, is it someone, uh. Yeah, it was I'm going to be placing the ball back on the table. Yeah, because I fouled. I didn't even touch the three ball. I'm trying to think of when the last time I played pool was. Or just any kind of game that involved a table like this. Like snooker, even. God damn it. <laughs> I uh I think the last time I played pool or snooker has to be like eight years ago now. That's quite a while. I don't know how snooker works. Yeah. Um I think snooker is the one where there's two colours and uh you've gotta pot all of your colour before um before the enemy can. Yeah. Okay. 
It's kind of like, kind of like pool, except you split the uh, numbers between you. Mm -hmm. Like you have your own set of numbers. Okay. Oh no, um, 15 red balls. What's the, what's the one I'm thinking of then? Billiards? Is that a different kind of pool? No idea. No idea, man. Come on, go in, go in, yeah! Is, really. I, mean, I think, I think it's right, the one pool. where you split between, uh, stripes and solids. Yeah, that's, that's maybe what I was thinking of then, if that's billiards. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, there are 15 red balls in snooker, and then yellow, brown, black, and blue, I think one other color. Green, maybe. And I, I won. Uh, think you got to put all the red ones, and then... Oh, nice. That, that was... I didn't... That was a skill shot. That was a pretty good shot. I definitely mm -hmm. did that totally so on purpose. It wasn't was an possible. accident. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think in now you know, Kazuma you jerks it for a while, and then you get to pop the colors. Oh yeah, S slow stroke, speed it up, Kazuma. There we go. There we go. Keep nodding. Keep nodding. Yeah, you gotta keep a good pace on that, Kazuma. He'll keep doing this until I make him stop. Pace. Oh, it never make him stop, man. Keep denying him. Keep denying him. Come on, Kazuma's edging right now. Don't right, make it stop now, please. It's getting weird. <laughs> I sure hope you can't hear all that screaming. I can hear a little bit. Oh, good. Great. But we won. We get more money and experience. Mm -hmm. A lot more, actually. I wonder what would have happened if we lost. Oh, we get less money and experience. I mean, like, isn't this isn't the bar owner here in debt? Yep. We I just want him get ruined. We just want his bar back for him. Hmm. But yeah, I think my uh, I think my housemates had plans going out, but they cancelled them and got stoned instead. And others running around screaming while <clears> on <throat> can't hide. Great. Yep. It's a fantastic time. Time to be alive, man. Time to be alive. Eh? By the way, if anyone's wondering why there weren't uh, the usual episodes uh, between, like, the last is it three weeks? Is it three weeks? I don't really know how long it's been. I'm not sure. Uh, basically, I this past couple weeks, like, the final stretch of my uh, university dissertation so today is the first day after it's finished I'm finally fucking free mm -hmm. I must be in a lot of pain right now oh have you ever sat in one in one chair for a day and a half maybe a bit longer and just hunched over a keyboard typing only taking breaks to go take a piss or get a drink or go outside to smoke and come back in no. Have you ever done that before? Can't say I have. Well, it, it, it turns out sitting in one place for like 36 hours really fucking hurts. Hurts your entire back. Hurts your ass. Hurts shoulders. It hurts a lot. So even now I'm in quite a bit of pain. Well, that's not great. But, nah, it's not. But on the other hand, I am free. I'm done. No more shitty dissertation stuff to write. Man, these guys are just having the longest conversations. And he gave me a thousand. He gave me That's a thousand a bucks. Money, That's. Mhm. Mm That's like a week's profit for him. Okay. Way we, too generous. We can upgrade here. We can upgrade anything. Hmm. Double finishing blow. Ooh. Regard. Yeah, let's... Essence of fear. I kind of like the sound. Which one? Hmm. I 
feel like the Thunder Guard. Uh, not Thunder Guard, um, double finishing blow. Okay. Just because, you know, add some diversity to the amount of, uh, the amount of finishing blows we can see. Okay, so next time, Kamaki Dodge Shot and Speed Boost. Mainly accelerates unarmed attacks. It does some other stuff. We're not going to tell you about those. Yeah, that's a... Okay, right, right, right. That's a weird word in right there. I think I got some locker keys, too. I don't remember. Out of the stream uh, last... Let's go get the one by the bridge as well. Yeah. Then we'll take a trip to that locker. Let's get some drinks real quick. Ah, oh, shit. I don't remember what we... Hold on, I gotta get out. I gotta see what we've had here. Mm -hmm. Get out the lock book. See what we've had. Where are we? we are Do you in... reckon this is actually just a notebook that Kazuma carries around with him? Uh, maybe, yeah. Yamazaki 12, Frog 10, and Beefeater. This is the place that had the Glen Fittich, wasn't it? Yeah, let's get the incredibly expensive Glen Fittich shot. Glen Fittich 30? Yeah, let's get that Glen Fittich 30. Binnacle of the Glen Fittich line. Ooh. I still swear I've seen this cheap somewhere. I still swear I have. Maybe I've only seen Glen Fittich 20, though. Maybe. Only so many are bottled each year. Mm. I mean that's true Handsome of price. that's true Handsome. of anything that's put in a bottle. Technically. Yeah. Like the difference is just how many of those bottles there are. Yeah. I'm sorry, Glen Fittich does not excite the taste buds. It's fucking awful. I'm not a big fan of Irish whiskey Irish whiskey in general. I don't know why I got tongue tied there. I'm not even sure Glen Fittich is Irish. I mean, it's not scotch. I know that much. Glen Fittich is a Speyside single malt scotch. Is it? Scotch, Mikey. Game yeah. lied to me. I was pretty sure. I was pretty sure it was scotch. It says the other ones are scotches. Why didn't it say that one? Hmm. I actually don't even know what this... The difference between single malt and this double malt, right? I have no idea. I don't actually know what the difference is, sir. I'm not a whiskey boy. Nah, nor am I. I don't think I ever will be. You know, I've not really got the taste for whiskey. This legendary drinker is taking up space. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's let's deal with the hangover quick. I think. I think this is the one. Don't like Lefroig. I haven't tried the 30 because it's expensive, but I don't like the 10, so. I think I just generally don't like whiskey. I'm finding I like the cheap whiskey. Also, what on, what on earth is going on with that glass that he's poured into? Why does the glass have a roof? Why is it got a lid? Oh, uh, so it doesn't aerate too much, I guess. Maybe it seems like a really dumb glass that'll be easy to break. I mean, the part under the little lid is normal for a whiskey glass. Hmm. I just mean the the actual lid itself. That's, it seems I've, like something you'd lose or break. I'm gonna bet like so it doesn't aerate. Hmm. I, I I probably agree with you on. Yeah, it's probably for that. Seaweed flavored whiskey? Is what I got out of that description. We're just getting super smashed here. Yeah, we are. We got like half our health back. <laughs> that's, that's not a lot of health, Mikey. But we're absolutely trashed. Um, keep out of bitch. We should go get that. K. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure this is that bridge. Um, this is the bridge that the nice guys are at, right? Where someone going to be thrown off? Nice yeah. in air quotes. Yeah, it seems like this is the place where we were. Unless uh, it, uh, I don't remember where the cutscene was, though. Unless it's up, which is possible. Can we go down that alleyway? This one? Nah, the other side. You, 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 no, no, Mike. Yeah, that, that, that. No. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, do you mean down here? Oh, yeah, that. I see it. When? Oh, how would you see that from I the foot scene? That's, that's an eye. That's oh, an actually, eye right there, this, is where that, this is where that dog quest was, I think. Oh, uh, okay. And there's another. Right there. We're going to have some good locker key doing here. Hmm. Before we leave Ryukyu forever. It's not forever. What are you guys talking about? I think going to Kamurocho might be next Devil. episode at this rate. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, would you want to live in a town with a, uh, with a devil cat? I certainly wouldn't. I don't know. As long as it's not bothering me. We need to get out of Cam. We need to get out of Yaku, man. We need to get away from Okinawa. I like this little tableau it's painted right here. <laughs> this chasm has stood to the side. <laughs> so awkwardly standing in on that conversation like a fucking creep. Just look at him. Just staring at them. It's real weird. This grown ass man looking at these teenage girls having a conversation. I mean, like, I love felines too, lady. Doesn't mean they're all good cats, though. I mean, we were just by Aqua Sky, so I, get, I guess we can go back and see. Do they mean Aqua Sky, though? There's a couple bars here, right? Yeah, well, let's check to see what we got here. Sub stories. Hangs out around Aqua Sky. Seven mysteries of downtown Ryukyu. Okay. What was the first see uh, mystery? The cell phone. Oh yeah. Oh, we got, we got a devil cat right Found here. Found the devil cat. Look at it. That is. That's definitely a devil. That's a devil. Of all the cats I've seen in my life. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of devil cats, and that's definitely one of them. I, I've not seen any devil cats. Are the are the an American thing? I, 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 I didn't. Th cats. I didn't think so. Maybe you just need to get out more. Oh. Mm. Look at his eyes. Oh shit! Cats on the go, man. I guess we're following a cat, huh? Hmm. That, that's definitely what the cat wants you to do. It, it told you that, Kazma. I'm a big fan of this cat sound effect. What? Mm. I'm, okay. I'm only stopping here because I thought I saw a key. And I was waiting to see if it showed up again. I did. It turns out I did not. I'm just seeing the drunk thing I am flashing in my peripheral. I'm waiting to this guy calling his cat pussy pussy. I mean, call your cat what you want. Hmm. But, uh, you know, just have some taste with the name. He's secretly a very soft, innocent boy. Yeah, but he doesn't like anyone getting near his pussy. He's, he said so himself. Over him. I would like to show you this nice bicycle. 
Nice. Nice. That guy is dead. Look at the blood coming out of his mouth, Dan. He loves his cat. A lot of animal lovers in Ryuki we're learning here. Yeah, well, I don't blame him for loving his cat. Look at his cat. Running away cat. from him. Yeah, it's terrified of him. He loves it, though. Okay, what is this catnip stick? Yeah, what, what does it do for us? So, if we can eat it. It looks like. Okay. Uh, let's go. Is there a cat interact inside mission, like side mission mini game sort of thing in this game? I don't think so. Let's go to the lockers. Because we should probably start that... getting this wrapped up. This app. <clears throat> but yeah, that description implied that there's multiple types of cat stick out there. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. This type is easier to give him. Oh, okay. Okay, we're back. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go get those lockers then. Get the lockers, and then we will wrap up this episode. Do we even have enough space in the inventory for them all? If we don't, it'll send it to oh, the... God, we've destroyed so many. We've opened so many. Stamina and Royale, that'll yeah. be very useful. We're getting useful ones today. Mm. But who knows about 24 and 25. I, I want to see some crafting stuff. There we go. New material XX. That's a great description for that object there. Ooh. Should we... I think we should equip the pink wristband. It's crafting materials, it looks like. Ah. Oh. I, I would say it's actually for style. Not for crafting. Yeah. Let's go put those things away. And we'll wrap up this episode. Uh... Have we got... Where does this go? Have we got two sets of comfy souls in our inventory? Yeah, so catnip stick is a recovery item. We'll say we'll have that be another piece of garbage oh. that we save until the end of the game, I guess. Are we sure it's a recovery item and not just an item that you can happen to eat? It seems like something that. No, like, I'm not. That description. I'm not sure about that at all, actually. The stick type. The stick type's easier to give them. That's that implies that there's multiple types of stick that you might be able to get. It does. First, I actually before I save, I want to see what chapter we're in because I don't remember. It's been too long. Chapter four, okay. Okay, so that's been this episode of GameCube plays Yakuza Three. I'm Mike. I'm another person of AP, and I am always looking forward to that cat quest. There's going to be a cat quest, man. It's gotta we'll, be. We'll save the catnip stick until then. Mhm. Mm Till next time. Keep it juicy. <laughs>